Hey, good afternoon, Bob Trade Genius. It's the uh, 13th of June, and I'll start off a little bit different here. I'll, I'll talk a little bit about you know the Trade Genius service and and also the academy and how I combine the two and help people you know make money every day. And and here uh, I'm Pacific Coast time, so I usually roll roll out of bed and get started uh, anywhere between you know four and five in the morning. So I catch some of the um, early early action from when the early traders from U.S. get started and Europe's in full bloom. And so here's just in the chat room. I was I was watching the oil chart, and these are people that don't even have you know my uh, day trading money machine. So I'm in the chart uh, in the chat room talking about the charts, and I just said, hey, this is oil, and. Uh, you know, if it goes below 46.12, and at the time it was up at 46.30 um, area, I said look at 45.85 area as a uh, a measured move. It's in a descending triangle. It's making lower highs, high probability setup trade. And then I made the comment everything's drifting to zero today, and oil, believe it or not, it's, it's, it's after the report, it's down eight cents for the day. And um, and then so I took the trade obviously myself. And, and I covered um, uh, 4912 and 4597 uh, pocketed uh, uh, nearly three hundred dollars and made some comments and then and then it just fell right to my my mark and and the reason why I share that with you is and I'll show you the chart here is just really that I'm communicating as well as providing the uh, um, the, the information on your PC so you can actually trade this and then here's here's the trade itself is that this is what I was observing lower high lower high lower high sitting on support 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 watching the uh, the intermediate stochastic just fading 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 and this is all sell rip time and um, you know finally took the trade and it came down to support had two contracts took one off it broke support on the first little pullback I I closed it if I wanted to I could have stayed down to the measured move you know because it gave me some room here to to do that with the uh, with my money flow indicator that I have and here's your whole day you could have quit trading today if you had two contracts on you, you could have made eight hundred dollars and you'd have been done and so this is the power of my system we had trades all day today uh, across a number of different uh, futures contracts and so works out really nice and then here's the trade that said so um, just showing where I um, I covered the two and um, trade I put on above it you, you don't see it but so sold two covered and covered and that's uh, that's how it works and for what I charge for it you would have paid for the system and you would have paid for the whole year of service and just one one suggestion and one software signal from me so not bad huh now let's get into the market here a little bit and um, you know today I thought it'd be a nothing burger but it came out of the blocks pretty spry and then it kind of then got dull um, the banks I guess I guess the thinking is they're raising interest rates and raising interest rates takes all the money from everybody else and gives it to the banks this is the only reason why Yellen's raising She's not raising to burst any bubbles because if they wanted to stop the bubble, all they have to do is two things. Take money away from the bank and their excess reserves so they can't use it as a, uh, a trading vehicle. And number two is they could just raise the margin on the VIX contract to some 150 or 200% margin and it would just kill this thing. But they don't want that. So what they're trying to do, they see that economy is going into recession and they're shoving taxpayer money consumer money, corporate money into the banks because the Federal Reserve has a monopoly on those kind of activities. It's just simple theft. You can't justify raising rates based on economic growth factors at all. We're basically saturated in debt. The carrying the ability of consumers to carry debt is gone. And so this is just a simple way of stealing. There's no if and or buts about it. Nobody could justify it any other way to me. It's pretty sad. But that's the system. They captured our politicians, so they get the steal. You know, not bad deal, huh? Until it blows up on them. 
and then it gets it gets ugly because I think people are already in pretty foul mood, and if this thing rolls over and the banks start trying to take more, uh, I you know I I think there'll be violence this time. I really do. And we have um, uh, looking at spy here. It was, you know it moved up. It was turned around Tuesday. Everything's pushing up into the Ellen meeting. And what's really interesting to me is that, you know, my view is that we should sell from here. and But just about everybody, and I mean everybody I talk to, I read in my chat room, um, is that people are like, hey, we're, we're blasting through this and we're going. And, and I, I don't understand, you know, math doesn't work for me, so I have a hard time with it. So I guess, I guess it's all sentiment. You know, and, and, and the ability to central banks taking this cash and shoving it more into the stock market that they're going to get from the from the Federal Reserve. Maybe that's where they're thinking it's coming from because that, that's the only way it would make sense to me. But uh, this, thing's, this thing's ready to go downtown. So uh, consumers are going to die. Sectors are just going to implode. We're already seeing it. Auto, housing, retail, restaurants, you know. All of them, student loans can't pay back. So it's going to be really, really interesting to me. And we have um, volatility obviously got, got crushed because that's what you do. And here's the queue. Just got back up to the 100 day and just kind of st st stuck there. And uh, this is my big bet. I'm looking for this to fail. And when it fails to get a nice chunk of profit. I have calendars on this right now. I'll take that calendar off if I see the trade um, uh, rolling down in the direction I want it to go so I don't get caught within the money. But I have room here. I have 137s. NVIDIA. I have NVIDIA up just because a barometer for me just to, to see the, uh, the tech. GDX got pushed up today. Am I off the edge here? Let me see here. Um, it was nice. That they had it sold off in the morning and it pushed up and pushed back over the hundred, you know, um, you know it's in position to pop. So we'll see what happens. Here's Apple. Looks like a bear flag to me. IWM. You know this is all bank. Unbelievable to me. Absolutely unbelievable to me. Technology, like I said, looks the same as the Qs. GDXJ was very strong the last couple of days. I don't know if they're front running this thing or setting a bull trap or whatever, but it, it's looking looking decent. So we got out of our XLE at 67 yesterday, and so uh, wasn't in a hurry to go back in. Oil report just took us back to flat. It drove down hard. It popped it hard. I think somebody knew something and then drove it back to zero. You got XIV. Unbelievable. Just gap and go. Here's Nugget. Um, I have dust put. They got, they got all the way back down into the money there for a bit. And then they pushed back higher. But, um, you know, my view on this is that uh, uh, we should break out with, with the Fed. Unless the Fed is it like extremely hawkish like we're going to raise for for far as the eye can see you know that's the only way i can see them breaking this thing down but i think i think the whole market would roll over at that point there's slv pushed up today still settling in it looks like a stair stick it's like a mirror so i wonder if a lot of people think we're going to push down another 40 cents on on silver here you know these are in opposition to each other money flows increasing this could embed like here so we'll just see what happens it's underneath the 100 day so it has to prove itself here's the dust puts i talked about I'm still holding on to them tomorrow it's, the trade's going to either work spectacularly or i dump them oil's holding above the 100 i mean gold excuse me the sqs no uh, you know, we have this as a signal, 3180. I bought it because I didn't know if we were going to get a crash into the Yellen report. 
and then tomorrow will tell the tale. If we get strength, I'm keeping it. If we get further weakness, then I'm going to dump it. UNG is getting close to being washed out. I'm going to take a look at this thing long here pretty soon. IYR, this is not telling me that interest rates are rising. This is this is telling me interest rates are are falling. So, you know, all these people are talking about interest rates rising, but real estate's telling me differently. This is not because we're excited, you know, because the higher the credit, the higher the carrying cost, the lower the asset value. So, so um, something else is in play here, and I think I think we'll see yields collapse because we're going to see the economy collapse. TZA, his UCO, that last candle was the uh, aftermarket report. I can't judge these till after tomorrow's 7.30 report, my time. They usually reverse each other, you know, and so just have to kind of wait and see. MOS, looks like it might be ready for another buy again. I'm going to keep an eye on it. We had a nice trade on it earlier this week. We got out at 24 here. Looks like it's building back up. I want this thing to roll. Rolling Moss, get it? Uh, never mind. So we got SDS. So just watching. Didn't want to. I'm I loaded with Silver Wheaton. Talking about uh, the miners here, but just not quite ready. We have dust puts to to jump in with with, with AG and with SILJ. Let's get they're getting stoned here at the hundred day. So we'll just have to wait to see if they hop over. The Amazon trade, not making a new high. Not making a new high either in small cap. Gold holding above the 100 again. Year X, you know, I don't think this is going to go anywhere unless oil starts to go. Talk financials, you know, and talking about oil too. So I talked to some people and a lot of people are convinced oil is going to 49. Uh, they might be smarter than I am. I, I just don't, I don't, I don't see it, you know, unless something happens with the Fed that makes people say, hey, I need to get more oil. We're literally going into the weakest months of oil. So um, I think any of these pops will have to start thinking about, about selling them. But I don't know, maybe people are thinking the dollar is going to get stronger and that's going to raise the price of oil, but it usually does the opposite. But lately oil has been running with the dollar. So just really makes my head spin so I'm just gonna try to buy the signals um, oil has been better intraday than 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 intraday and and just because it's uh, chopping around but I think a bottom pie was put in here we'll just have to see I think a lot of people are thinking maybe this is what's gonna happen we're gonna get back up to the 100 day moving average on on this thing and you're talking like a five percent move maybe three three to five percent I don't know but the only reason why I thought it was going to go up before was that we're going to have some sort of shooting war in the Middle East. I still wouldn't be holding short overnight. I think that's crazy. You know, uh, there's a lot of people with a lot of money willing to do a lot of crazy things, you know, to keep their wealth. So uh, I wouldn't put anything past them to create a, an environment where they can pop the price of oil. Okay, it's not making a new high either. This would be a great short once it fails again. Nice little comeback, WPM. So I'm in 3,000 shares. I sold a 20 uh, naked for Monday for equivalent of 1,000 shares. And today I sold a naked 1950 for equivalent of 1,000 shares. And um, if this thing closes below 1950 by Friday, I'll have my full position. And then I'm just going to manage that position with, uh, with sold calls in the money, out of the money, uh, whatever the chart tells me to do and then I'm just gonna start you know I'll have anywhere close to a hundred thousand if not a little bit more in it and then I'm just gonna go ahead and and try to generate um, you know 30 40 percent returns on the uh, uh, on the sole calls over a course of the year kind of my thinking right now we'll see I can I have the margin to to do much more so um, I just don't know what I want to do yet if it starts moving I may just add and then and and take off the extra add and go <clears throat> go deeper than 100k i'm just not quite ready there as soon as interest rates fall and silver stabilizes uh wheat and precious metals will fly 
and because they uh that's their financing costs go down too okay Let's see anything else here twm twm like i said small caps are my are my overnight armageddon position and it's gonna stay just with that i don't think these banks will make it they're gonna have to start writing off assets left and right here soon there's bank is drip drip hit his vwap uh might be depending on oil does tomorrow thursday might be an opportunity to get back into it again we'll have to wait and see dollar is flat boils getting boiled dba just took a little bit of a punch sometimes they with the crazy stuff they do with some of these ag stocks because it's so illiquid they can they can just move things around but i'm waiting for it to get over 2020 so i can take take some off the table and then have it come down i missed it just by a penny or two where i'd have been loading again and i'm doing it mechanically because i can't watch this all the time there's a new one i added uh somebody on twitter uh pointed it out i liked it i put it on there and i'm just gonna watch it and is it once it breaks over the 100 for the first time, we get a positive slope on the moving averages is something I'll be interested in. I used to trade UEC, URE, and URA a lot, you know, in the heyday of the uranium cycle. And uh, so it'd be fun to throw this one back in. Once they lose control, we start getting this um, um, uh, movement in, in the metals and the miners. Then, then, at least for me, trading gets to be a lot of fun. Coffee flattish. Okay, that's the Nat Gas. JJG had a nice pop. The grains, I'm telling you, this is our year. I was a year early with my my prediction. And um, and now the reports are coming. They're just awful. They're just they're actually harvesting the fields and turning them into hay. The crops are way down. And uh, that's just the winter wheat. It was abysmal. And then wait till we get into the into the spring wheat season there's already droughts in areas there shouldn't be china's starting to drought out we're droughting out in certain areas that we shouldn't and um at least for good grain production and i think we're going to see i think we're going to see a takeoff in, in corn and wheat and they said especially soybeans so um are, are in the worst area so all that supports jjg So wheat, this is kind of nice. It bounced off the hundred, moved back higher. It's starting to change its 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 character. So now we have to start looking. Every time it gets now oversold here, I think we can look for some good explosions higher, and we can buy them early. <clears throat> and uh, not paying attention to the dog, he's letting me know this. And same with corn. And here's the, their tech look. And sugar is the one that's causing problems with DBA. It's just amazing how it's just been crushed. No pun intended. And then this didn't really play today. And real estate. SILJ just watching. Look at it. It has done nothing in, in, in two months. But it didn't sell off. Here's the VIX, and then here's the VIX. They obviously they push it down as much as I thought, but still down nine percent. You know, was it was a gap down. And here we are, two point two zero is the interest rates for a ten year. You know, this is not screaming reflation or screaming economic boom. So uh, I look for all these things that the Fed's trying to do to is will we'll get unwound. The PE multiples are getting too stretched. Cash flows are deteriorating. And now they just put a huge tax tomorrow onto the American consumer. Huge tax. And that's it. So we'll catch you guys tomorrow. It should prove interesting. If you're interested in what we're doing, go to the website, uh, and, um, uh, and and sign up, learn how to trade, and, and you know let us help you make money. Uh, I love helping people. And I uh, trying to show you the results here now more and more often. So, you know, so people can see that, you know, what we're actually doing. And, um, you know, you can ask in the chat. You know, it's uh, a lot of people are doing really well.
Anyway, have a good one. Thanks. Bye.